Revit has some tools that allow better coordination between outside linked Revit projects and your own project environment. To see these, we need to come under the Collaborate tab on the ribbon. On Collaborate, we'll see right above Coordinate, there's two commands. One is called Copy Monitor and the other is Coordination Review. In this project, we have a LinkedIn Revit model. And if we highlight over it, we'll see there's a box that goes around the outside of it. What I'd like to do in this case is go to Elevations and then go to the South Elevation. I'm going to zoom in. We have a couple of different levels here. There's also a 02 floor level, a 01 entry level, and then some extra floor levels up above. What I'd like to do is copy and monitor these levels. To do this, we'll come up to the copy monitor underneath collaborate, click on that. Then it's going to give us the option to either select a linked file or what's called use the current project. You'll pretty much never use use current project. It's almost always going to be select link. Next, I'm going to zoom out just a touch so that I can make sure that I select on the right thing. And now I'm going to try to select on the linked project. After we've done this, we'll get a new set of tools on the ribbon going across the top. And what I'd like to do is use the copy tool. We'd like to copy multiple different objects. Now I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm going to click and hold my mouse button down and just do a window around each of these levels. And one thing you'll notice already is that these levels, before we try to go over the top of them, either didn't do anything or else they highlighted the entire project. Now, individually, they'll highlight. After they've been selected on, click on Finish. And we're going to give it a second to copy these levels into our project. In fact, if we look now and we zoom in, we can see that we have our own level heads over the top of the level heads that were linked in. In fact, in the original project, it was all done in metric, but our project is done in imperial units. So as a result of that, we're seeing the actual feet and inches instead of the metric units that the other project had. Also, when we did that copy, it gave them the exact same name as the original levels there. Now, during this process, and I'm just gonna select on the copy monitor tab right here, it also began monitoring these individual things. So if we click on finish now, what I'd like to do is save this project. So I'm going to come up here and click on save. I'm going to exit this project entirely. Now I want to open up that project that was sort of the underlay project. Select on open. And what I'd like to do is I come in here and find that project that was linked in. And in this case, it's the Revit Coordination Project. Click on Open to that. Next, we're going to go to one of the elevation views. In this case, the south elevation. I'm going to zoom in on this side of the building. And what I'd like to do is right here, there's a parapet level and it says 12,000. What I'd like to do is change this to be 13,000. This won't be a dramatic change to the building, but it should raise the parapet up. We can see that the parapet has now been raised up and this is now 13,000. Next, save this file. So now we've made changes to it. Now close out of this project. We wanna go back to that project that we were just in, which is the Copy Monitor Coordination Review Project. It's gonna tell you that an instance of the linked Revit file needs coordination review. What it's saying is that this file here has changed, so now we need to do a coordination review of it to find out what those changes are. I'm gonna zoom in here so we can take a little bit better look. We can see that our parapet level is now lower than the parapet level here, which is correct. If we go underneath collaborate now, we can see there's an option here for coordination review. And what we wanna do is select the linked project. I'm gonna zoom out to make sure that I've got it and click on it. And now it's gonna give us a list of everything that's different about those things that we're copying and monitoring. In this case, we can see that the level moved three feet, three and three eighths. What do we want to do? Do we want to postpone that change but get reminded of it again? Do we want to reject it? We're not going to change our model. Do we want to accept the difference? Say that, yes, this is okay. I just don't want to be warned about it anymore. Or do we want to move the level parapet? And in this case, that's what I want to do. So we can click on okay to that. 
And by doing that, we can see that the parapet level has now moved and adjusted to meet the new elevation height. So, underneath the Collaborate tab, remember, we have two different options. We can copy and monitor either the levels, or you can also copy and monitor the structural grids. And if that change should happen, it'll ask you for coordination review. Something has happened, we need to coordinate your drawings with theirs, in which case you come to Collaborate Coordination Review, select on the linked file, and then update those items that appear on your coordination review list.